Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Beloved beasts. Whoever gets there first gets to sleep in the living stone's bed. One, two, three, go! How come I've lived here the longest and I'm on the floor? Vic, relax. We're sleeping indoors. You know what's a bad bed? A porcupine. Pointy, and they snore. But I've done it. Thanks to the wild, I can sleep through anything. Well, I need a pillow. Not too soft, but... Mm -hmm. He's already asleep, isn't he? And dreaming. Beat it, you bandit-faced dumpster divers! We're trying to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> Way to chase off those raccoons, Wash. <sighs> Is Mr. L mad at Washington about the raccoons? Naturally, dogs are supposed to chase off raccoons, but Washington blew it. Now, if you'll excuse me. I caught the spot on the couch by Mrs. L's bee. Oh, no! If Wash doesn't chase off the raccoons, Mr. L might kick us out. <laughs> oh, Sam, you're overreacting. You're right. I'm overreacting when I should be over overreacting. <laughs> Wake up, Wash. Our lives are over. Hey, I thought I asked you for a 9 a.m. wake up. We have a situation. Listen. Mr. L will kick us out if you don't chase off those scary raccoons. I can chase off raccoons. I chased off way worse back in the wild. You did? Technically, I was chased by way worse in the wild. But no worries, I got this. Time's up, boys. The face closed. Don't gotta go home, but you can't eat here. Oh. I said. <laughs> Arf! <laughs> Yo, I think that dog swallowed his squeaky toy. <laughs> Hit the road. All your rackets making me tired, and you won't like me when I'm tired. Rah! <laughs> <laughs> Go cover your ears with your doggy sweater, fancy paws. My paws aren't fancy. Sure, my nails are trimmed bi weekly, but. <laughs> Time for a magic trick. Want to see me pull a fox out of a dog? For my next trick, I'll need a volunteer. Wow! You're a fox? Like a wild fox? Yo, I don't want no trouble. Are we cool? We didn't know you had a long con going on here. No disrespect, Ro. Just let us grab some food for the road. Still got my wild side. Yo, is it true what they say about indoor pets? Yep, fresh food from a can, twice a day, every day. You're living the tree, man. Hey, wanna take a break from fancy living and run with us tonight? Yeah, this place has some of the tastiest gutters in the world. Well, it sounds great, but I can't. My humans wake up in a few hours, and I have this bone I'm working on. You sure, bro? <sighs> Ooh, you know you can't say no to me. <laughs> What's one night? Put him in a trash bag here, Ricky. <laughs> What's all the racket?
Adios, Hermanos. It was fun. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Blink once for yes, blink twice for... I'm in too much pain to blink. I'm okay. Don't worry, Sam. You smell like trash, both literal and animal varieties. Guys, relax. The Rack Pack is cool. The who and the what? That's the raccoon gang's name, the Rack Pack. Pretty sweet, huh? You know, once you get past the fleas and the farting, they're good guys. Yo, Foxy Washington, you here? Garbage thief, germ carrier! <laughs> Victoria, heal! Down! Wanna run with us again tonight? Found a taco shack's dumpster! Oh, I do like day old tacos. I do <coughs> like tacos too, but it's bedtime. Bedtime is for dogs, which I guess makes it okay for you. <laughs> Knock it off. I'll be out in a sec. Did you actually join the raccoon gang? Sam, I don't want to hang out with the Rack Pack again, but I need to make sure they hang out away from here to keep Mr. L happy and preserve our safety. You don't want to have to go back to the woods and eat acorns, do you? No. Okay, but don't let them give you a tattoo like mine. Uh, don't worry. I'm a total professional. I'd say look what the cat dragged in, but I wouldn't touch you with Sam's claws. Please, I'm a total professional. <sighs> Why, hello, Washington. Is it tummy rub time in Tummy Rub Town? <laughs> wow, good trick. It's like play dead only as play scary. <sighs> Someone's getting sloppy. Washington, we need to talk. This isn't easy for me to say, especially as I'm thirsty right now and my mouth is dry, but the raccoon is bringing out your wild side, and your wild side is a big jerk. Hmm? Nap time, again. He almost blew our cover and he doesn't even care. Okay, time for plan B. Which is? Whatever I think of next. <laughs> Ah. Oh. Wash, we need to talk. Your wild side is starting to show. We could get kicked out. Oh, you guys. I have my wild side under control. I can stop anytime. You almost beat Mr. L this morning. And I've smelled used litter boxes fresher than you. Excuse me? I defend our garbage and safety by making sure the raccoons eat everyone else's. You want me in that trash? You need me in that trash if you don't want Mr. L to toss us out. We need you in a bath. But Wash, if you keep acting wild, the living stones will kick us out. I can't go back to the forest. It's wet. It's cold. There's no TV. No more talk. Time for action. Ah, I can do action. You make weapons from twigs and feathers. Whoa. If Wash won't do it, I'll chase off those raccoons once and for all. Leave my best friend alone. <laughs> Your best friend is a trash can? Uh, no, Washington. I won't let you ruin his life one second more. Who wants hot dogs? OK. His life might not look ruined, but... Go back inside, Fancy Fur. Don't call me Fancy <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, your pie hole, fools. Jive Raccoon's best be leaving our hood. That's street slang, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just get ketchup on my fur? That don't come out. Yeah, not until it shakes. 
Oh, back off, fellas. No way, bro. It's go time. Hey, I wasn't asking. Sure, these indoor pets might not be tough and maybe have ridiculously clean fur. Was that aimed at me? But they are my best friends. You... Your words have touched us. In the butt! Beat it, Blamo! You're out of the game! You, cut! Belly dance for us! Belly dance? Yeah, I'm better at that. Belly dance! <laughs> now do the worm! <laughs> Hey, Ricky, uh, Fox is back. And these foemen. Ah, crazy fox dog! That ain't a fox, that's a freak! Run, ah. run, run! <laughs> it was just so. I'm sorry, guys. I don't need to run with those raccoons. I already got the best gang ever. No more wild side? Wow, you really do need a bath. And that's coming from a hog. Hmm? <laughs> Just a sec, guys. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I've gotten really good at this. <laughs> Get ready! He's almost uh, here! You're asking for trouble. Stupid male! Stupid sunshine! Come to Papa. <laughs> here! Arr, 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 arr. Very funny, dog. You got a real weird bark, you know that? Hey, dog! Here's something to make some noise about. It's a letter from the vet. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, did he say letter from the vet? Yep, it's a letter from the vet, all right. See, that's his necklace. And a letter from the vet is never. Yeah. Maybe it's time for sure. Or maybe our ears are too long. Maybe he wants to cut them off. Yeah. Or maybe he just figured out who we are. Yeah. Huh? No! no. Oh. Uh. Cool. For my collection. What did you do that for? What if they were expecting that letter? They'll blame the mailman. The post office never makes a mistake. Everybody knows that. Who well, knew it was us? I mean, you! Huh? Ah! <laughs> Calm down, everybody, because I got it all worked out. See? This is a good thing. You heard me. A good thing. We replaced the letter in Sam's stomach with a brand new one. A better one. A letter that will say whatever we want. We'll pretend it's from the vet, and we'll say that we're in perfect health and that he never needs to see us again. Yay! <laughs> I'm all for no more vet visits, but how are you going to write a letter? How are you going to write, period? Hmm. Vic, I think you're forgetting I'm a super slick fox. I mean, if I can manage this... I can figure out how to write. Yeah, how hard can writing be? Go for it. But so you know, it's got to be on the vet's special paper. The one that has his little necklace on it. Uh-oh. 
Really? Yep. Otherwise, they'll know it's a fake. No biggie. Where do we get some? In his office. Mm. Uh? <laughs> Great. Point the way. It's at the corner by the coffee shop. Got it. Sam, you're coming with me. Me? To the vet? I don't want to run into the vet. Like I do, but someone <laughs> ate the letter. I think you guys should all go. Safety in numbers, right? Well, I guess you're right. Let's go. Ah, that little adventure should take all day. Ah. Now what? How do we get in? We came all the way and we can't even get into the building. Wait. I think I see a solution to our problem. Quick, act normal. <laughs> I said normal like animal pets. <laughs> Come on, on Modi. It'll be fine. You don't need all those teeth anymore. <laughs> We each have to pick one human to walk inside with, and don't forget what you have to do once you're there. Let's go! <laughs> you. <laughs> Hello, Baldy. Uh, come in and let's replace those disgusting old teeth of yours. Look at my dog, John. All new teeth. No pain. He looks like a puppy again. You're a big kitty. Look at that big nose of yours. <laughs> and your teeth, they stick out. Weird. Where on earth am I going to find this? Look, big kitty. This is my hamster, Oscar. Oscar, say hi to big kitty. Hello. Oh, Oscar, he always faints. <laughs> Meow. Meow. <laughs> Here we have our top model. These would make old Moldy look like a movie star. Now think about it. I'll grab the forms for you to sign. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna make you look good and young again. Hi there, nice little rabbit. What's going on? What's all the noise back there? Why is he barking? Hmm. Oh, Oscar. Vet papers and vet envelopes must be worth a fortune, so he would hide them. I must think like a vet. Where would I, a vet, hide them? Nurse? That bone wasn't enough. I need some pills to calm him. They're in your office, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Hey, Big Kitty's gonna be sick. <laughs> What's going on here? for a cat. This cat needs to have these two teeth out as soon as possible. They're probably infected. Oh, that fur, it's so wet and sticky. Whose pet is this? Who brought a sick animal in here? <gasps> oh, 
Of course! In my vet desk! Aha! Huh? Ah! Bingo! Ah! <laughs> yes! Help! That weird cat needs to be sedated right now! Ah! Sicker than I thought. But stop moving like that. Yeah. Oh. Huh? What was that? Baldy. <laughs> and once again. My office. My shelter from the patients! <laughs> Hello, the Livingstones. All your wonderful pets are in perfect health. And I, their vet, do not need to see them ever again. Yay, Washington! Thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm a natural. Can we add and give them plenty of snacks? Easy. And give them plenty of snacks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Sign. The. Vet. Yay, Yay Washington! <laughs> They're here! From the vet! The vet! I love these red envelopes. What's the letter about, honey? I. Uh... <laughs> I'm not really sure. See for yourself. What on earth? This handwriting is terrible, even for a doctor. <laughs> okay, so I need to practice. I'm gonna call the vet to see what's going on. Cheap <laughs> trick, Mush! And of course, we appreciate you taking the time to write, Doctor, but perhaps you could tell me what you wrote? Oh, yes, the letter. I ran into the mailman last week. He told me that Washington has a rather strange bark. Oh, dear! Maybe we should bring him in. Why don't you? I'm offering 50% off all my doses all by the uh, Oh! <laughs> Finally a perfect morning. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. <laughs> <laughs> Washington, your hood! Phew, nobody saw me. That was a close call. Yeah. Oh, Diary, I hope you had a nice nap, because I have a lot of secrets to put in you. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell Fluffy everything, like how Washington drives me wild. Oh, 
no, 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 no. Me? Oh! Uh... <laughs> Should Susie really be flying that high? She likes to peek into other birds' nests. She gets decorating tips. Ah, uh, girls. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nugget, you're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Oh, yes. Of course. I want the entire world to know. <laughs> no, please. You can't do that. Really? Oh, yeah, of course, you're right. Because I'm a cat and you're a... Please, Nugget, this has to remain just between us. A secret, our little secret. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, all I really want is to hang out with you, Washington. No, uh, okay, yeah, cool. as a friend with me. <laughs> so, you've been having fun with your new buddy, Nugget, huh? While I was all alone, talking about my favorite shows with myself. No, oh, Sam, you don't understand. I understand she's your fancy new friend and I'm just a wild boar from the woods. No, no, I had no choice. No choice. <laughs> she knows our little secret. Yeah? What? And if I don't do what she wants, she's going to tell everyone I'm a fox. And if that happens, we're all doomed. Yeah, but I don't want to leave TV. Hey, Sam, what about the elves? Them too. Goodbye, elves. I love you, TV. Sam, just chill. Go play with Eugenie and Susie and pretend like you don't know a thing. OK. I mean it. They'll get all freaked out. Washington, <laughs> you coming? <sighs> Gotta go. Oh, diary! I have so much to say today! Huh? Where is it? Diary! Where are you? Oh, 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 oh diary! How could you have gotten lost? What are you looking at? A picture book. A hilarious picture book. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. The fat cat and that weird looking dog with the hearts all around him. <laughs> it almost looks like Washington. And that cat. She looks familiar too. Yeah. My 
head hurts. Too much thinking. I gotta find Wash. <laughs> <laughs> Nugget, why are you crying? It's nothing I've done, right? I lost my diary! Your what? <laughs> my diary! It's where I write all my secrets. <laughs> huh? All your secrets? Does that mean our little secret? Yes, especially our little secret. <gasps> we gotta find it! But I've looked everywhere. What am I gonna do? Without my diary, it's gonna be impossible not to tell Fluffy. No, 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 no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Washington. I'm very expressive. The vet said so. Can't you just express yourself silently? I would, Washington. But a lot of times my mouth doesn't even check with me before I say stuff. I can't help myself. I'm terrible at keeping secrets from her without it. If I can't, I might as well tell the world! No, 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 don't do that. We don't want the world to find out. Listen, I guess maybe you just go ahead and tell Fluffy everything. Don't you mean we? Oh, right, we. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Wash. Sam, I don't have a second to lose. We have to go tell her sister our little secret. What? Why? Because she lost her diary. Diary? The book where she writes all her secrets. She says without it, she has to express herself yeah. by blabbing about me to Fluffy. Otherwise, she'll tell the whole world. Yeah. Diary? Nugget? Ooh! <laughs> that diary thing you're reading, whose is it? Nuggets, of course. Yeah? Yeah, it's her diary. That's why it's so funny. Nugget's diary? I need that diary right now! Yeah, right. Check back next week. Give it to me! I need it! <gasps> no way! I'm not done yet! I want to see how it ends! Sorry, but it'll end bad for all of us if I don't get this diary back! Sam, look, buddy. Not now. I... Is this Nugget's diary? Nothing about... Nothing about my costume in here? So that means... She never saw you out of your costume! <laughs> oh! I saw you earlier. In the yard. <laughs> the only thing she saw was you, waving to her. At least she thought you were waving to her. <gasps> Phew. Washington, you coming? Huh? We gotta do what we gotta do. Time to wake her up and spill the beans. Wait, uh... Nugget? It's always gonna be complicated between us. Let's be realistic. You're a cat. Meow, meow. I'm a dog. Woof, woof. Your sister is always going to be an obstacle between us. <laughs> I know. It's tragic. But also tragically romantic. And no matter what happens, we'll always have our little secret. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Washington, you drive me wild. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. 
but to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Snip out a boar. In the wild, they can. Oh, Sam, what's happened to my foxy instincts? I've gone soft in the suburbs. Too many snacks and nasty hey, TV. You watch a lot of TV. Hello, furry huh? children. Who wants yum yums? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Sam! <laughs> Sam, your tail. It's missing. <laughs> Who's hungry? We gotta do something. <laughs> Honey, are you seeing this? Yes, dear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> my tail, my beautiful fat tail. Calm down. You still have your whiskers and your paws. But what happens if the living stones see? Well, worst case scenario, we get returned to the wild and eat dirt for the next 40 years. Huh? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Relax, I'm kidding. Okay, they can't have gone far. This just requires a little detective work. Never mind. <clears throat> Eugenie, Susie, start with the couch cushions. Research shows that's where 72% of missing household objects hide. Okay, that's where I would hide. Sam. Washington? Uh, uh what does Sam's tail look like again? Okay. Ooh. Is it a hot dog? A dead flower? I know, it's a U-turn. It's a tail. Sam's tail, long, blue, <laughs> covered with fur. Ah, sure, we'll get it. Sorry, Victoria. Uh, What's happened? Wow! Guess what, dear? I finally found the piano! <laughs> hey, Victoria, have you by any chance seen Sam's tail? Hmm? Mm, not at all. Come on, how about helping us look? Hmm, let me think. That sounds boring. Oh. No. Well, let's go for it, Sam! <laughs> Sam. Oops. I saw it first. Give it. I saw it first. You give it. You're fatter. I'm older. Not get it, Fluffy. No. Hey, at least we found it. Uh, Sam. <laughs> Sam, wake up, man. But what if they figure out what it is? Well, then we're finished. Over. Our cover is blown, which is why we have to get it back. No, oh, you've gone soft, lost your touch, fallen off your game. Okay, Sam. I've still got a few slick tricks up this first sleeve. Because, because the sun is shining and it's a brand new day, and we're all so happy here. Back to the girls. They have to be less noisy than this. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Okay, step one of Operation Tail, infiltrate enemy territory. But before we get started, safety first. Mm -hmm. Hop on my back, Sam. Like a backpack? Are you sure? Yes, this is what ninjas do. What, this? You really like it? Oh, yeah. Can I try it on? <laughs> Fluffy said not to give it to a soul. But Fluffy's not here, is she? She's eating. I could tie it around your neck. That's not giving it to a soul. I would love that. Oh, You could do this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> Glad I thought of the trampoline. <laughs> okay, still not quite back to my old self. Nap time. <sighs> well, where is it? Sorry, Sam, it was a no-go. They really liked that tail. I was afraid of that, so I found a backup plan. Yeah, you know, with the scrapes. <laughs> I don't think so. You sure? Totally. So unless you want to sleep on a pine cone pillow again, we're going to have to outsmart those cats. But Washington, oh. you said you ah! got... Stop listening to me so much. It's somebody's bedtime. Okay, wait for me outside. <laughs> Sam! <gasps> a giant talking sock! <laughs> Wake me up! Sam, it's me. I am waking you up. It's time for Operation Tail Rescue, the sequel. Okay, jump on my back. You sure? Just go. Roll! My tail back. The elves will figure us out. You're allowed to sleep in this couch. Didn't you tell them they could stop looking? I thought you did. Girls, I'm trying to sleep here and you're wasting your time. The tail's not here. It flew out the window. You sure? Of course I am. I did it. What? Why did you do that? My sincere apologies, but it's a cat thing. I just can't fight it. If something fluffy goes flying by, I just gotta swipe at it. Oh, we cats are just like that. Wow, you speak swell. You mean all cats? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Eugenie. Hey, my tail. I'll explain later. Right now, clean up this room. Victoria, you're gonna help us. Uh, really? Mm-hmm. Are you sure of your plan? Absolutely. When Fluff and Nug see this, they won't be able to resist it, leaving us free access to your missing appendage. You sure? Totally. Now let's get your tail back. Do I have to climb on your back? Nope. We'll uh, take the stairs. Huh? Oh. Wow. Okay, let's go. You sure? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm a lean, mean ninja machine. Victoria! Okay, 
they need me. It's abundantly clear to everyone that I've got my edge back. We did it, Washington. We did it. I can't believe it. Uh, I mean, I knew we could. Dumb cats. Hello. Uh, I helped too. You're welcome. Sam, you're my best friend. And all that matters is that I'm the one who got your tail back. Breakfast! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. All right, the mailman is here. Okay, any minute now, Mr. L will come out and we'll have our morning chase. Hi. You're up. I'm waiting for my morning cat bath. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's the spot. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think you really were a cat. I didn't say mm -hmm. stop. Well, well, well. Look who's ready for our morning paper chase. <laughs> 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 hmm, we're not done, Sam. You still gotta do the inside of my ears. <sighs> Sometimes I think dogs have more fun. <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> See, dogs have more fun. Thirsty! Washington, I've been thinking. Ah, uh, be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Bad things happen when you do that. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't seem quite fair that when we chose costumes, you got to be the dog. You get to have all the fun. Sam, being a cat is just as great as being a dog. Everyone knows that. Right, then you won't mind switching with me. You can be the cat for a while and I'll be the dog. <laughs> Sam, being a dog is no longer just a role for me. It's a whole thing. We can't just suddenly switch like like that. Huh? That's weird. Where's Sam? I'm always the first one up. Oh no! Oh no! This is bad! Yeah? Arf! Arf! Huh? Sam! What are you doing? You're gonna get us what all- What incredibly clever dog has my morning paper? Mm -hmm. It's all over! We're done for! Arf! 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 Uh... Wait! Sam is you? Is it opposite day already? No, not for another two months. But yeah, Sam's decided to be me. Oh, how fun! Yeah. Wait, what? No, not fun, bad. 
very bad. Oh no, game over. Any second now the elves will realize that he's not me. Hmm. So far it doesn't seem like they've noticed anything different. Nothing at all. <laughs> Say, this is crazy. You don't know what you're doing. Trust me, being a cat is cake compared to being a dog. Hmm. Nice game, boy. <gasps> arf, arf, arf. I know what Washington said. He says so many things. True, but he would be super fun to switch costumes. We can't. Yes, let's do it. Wash. Now that you're the other cat around here besides me, you're gonna have to act like one. Huh? Yeah, right. I've been sitting here patiently waiting for my morning cat bath, and we're way behind schedule. Ha! Ah, no way! Nuh -uh. Nope, not gonna happen. Never, ever. How strange. <laughs> Weird. Sam, what's wrong, huh? You always clean Vic this time of day. Are you sick? Do you need the vet? <laughs> I didn't say you could stop. Who turned off the lights? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my Washington. Ha. <laughs> 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 Go on, boy. Go ahead and play with your friends. Go on. Whoa, I'm at the dog park. So this is what it feels like. Hey there, Washington. Hey, guys. How's it going? Everything cool? Smells like him. Must be him. Wash, so, uh, how's that Mrs. L? Getting any home cooking table scraps these days? Yo, oh, yes. She makes the most delicious little pastas and dessert that makes your heart sing. Sometimes she makes the cutest little cookies that make you wanna... Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's good. It's good. What about you, dogs? Ah, uh, you know, chasing cats all around town. You know, the usual. Ugh, you're definitely not a very good cat, Washington. Do it the same way Sam does it, like a cat. <laughs> Gross, being a cat is a lot harder than it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh, don't look now, Wash, but uh, here comes your little friend, Trouble. Washington, this is for you. Let that be a lesson to you. So much drama when you're a dog. How exciting! Nope, we're not done napping. You're gonna have to act like a cat if you want the L's to believe you. That's it! Enough! I can't stand it! I need to run around! Do something instead of napping all the time! Fetch a ball, go on a walk! Cats don't do that. Well, I do! And I can't go another day cleaning you! Yeah, well, I agree. You're pretty terrible at it. <laughs> yeah! I can use my natural energy and remarkable imagination to show Sam what an awesome time I'm having being a cat. He'll see how much fun it is and will want to switch back! Easy! That's your big plan? It's all I got. Here's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna find something. Ha 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 ha!
That's my wah wah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love playing with my cat toys. It's so much fun, better than any dog game. Wow, I love this cat scratching post. It's the best thing ever. I don't want to be a dog ever again. Being a cat is the best. The best. <laughs> You're a dog. That's what dogs do. Go! Save them! Mm -hmm. I told you, being a dog is a high-pressure role. Us cats have to stay here and act scared. Hurry! They need you. stretched out, but it's good to be back in my regular costume. <laughs> what about the girls? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Rescued? <Ooh>. Rescued. <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> I never want to be a dog again. It's too hard having to be you, Washington. Yeah, this fits me much better. Yo, by the way, I met a girl at the dog park. I think she meant to give you this. Oh, <laughs> oh Wash, you're such a dog. Thanks, Vic. Hey, no worries. I had to get Sam back. You were a terrible cat, and I gotta have my daily cat bass in the morning. Uh, come on, I wasn't that bad. Pretty bad. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Do that. I have a camera. And tape all the cute things our little gang does when we leave. Great idea, hon. Now, if I can just remember where I put it. So, where is his spoiled majesty Washington? Oh no, when I left he was having a bad dream. I didn't want to huh? interrupt. I mean, where is he sleeping? One of his stupid secret spots? I can't say. Hmm. Come on. It must be a pretty quiet spot if you can sleep this late. Hmm. I've checked the closet, so I know he's not in the closet. Hmm. You might as well just tell me. Oh, you can have the rest of my breakfast. Hmm? Here. Perfect. Rig that bad boy in 3.4 seconds. And not a moment too soon. We're going to be late. Have a good day, Furbacks. That includes you, Washington. Shake a leg, boy.
everyone just act perfectly normal for the nice camera. Perfectly normal. Coast clear? What's up, Earthlings? Hmm, I'm starving. If I must, I must. Hey, what's your problem? The problem is you. Hey! Oh. What'd I do? <laughs> yeah. ah. Thanks for attacking Wash. That was nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, show me where he sleeps. No way. I promise. Hey, I know. How about you guys get off of me right now? Oops. Sorry, Washington. What? is going on? You've been caught on tape. Naked. What? What's gonna happen when the living stones watch the tape and see a fox in their kitchen? We're doomed. What? Don't be silly. You know, I'm great with electronics. I just have to erase the tape. Come on, trust me. Must be a new model. Hmm. Come on, delete! Delete, delete, delete! <laughs> okay, great. Let's try something else. Oh, so you didn't show the camera who's the boss of it? Nope, but I've got a new plan. And Vic, you're a big part of it. What kind? I had to touch fur with you beasts once today already. Trust me, you're gonna like this. But first, Sam, go get me my suit. Hmm, that looks comfy. Wash said to focus. Be gone, dirty beast. Uh, I'm trying. Cretinous cretin! Uh, <laughs> okay, Vic, we're good. Dreaded filth taxi! Again, uh, thank you. You're done. OMG! No! Washington, run! <laughs> Well, hello. What nice pets you are. Too nice if you ask me. <laughs> did you guys do something naughty? Did you? I bet you did. Well, why don't we see for ourselves, dear? <laughs> <laughs> what in the... Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, no. How, How did a, a wild, wild fox get, get in, in here? here? But wait, look, look. They fought him off. They fought him off. Look at Victoria. <gasps> Our little heroes. But wait, where's Washington? 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 Washington! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Good evening, neighbors. Excuse me, you're probably eating dinner, but a wild fox has our dog. I repeat, a wild fox has our dog. Please help. Get the wild fox and enjoy your dinner. Thank you.
our sight for a second. Not even for a nanosecond. This is a nightmare. I know. Wash is out there all alone. I've got to do something. I just meant us sharing a lap. You better tell me where his secret room is. There he is! <gasps> I think I saw him! Are you sure? Small with red hair and a ferocious smile? Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, oops, wait a minute. My mistake, it was just my son. Get back in here. <laughs> oh no, Sam! Quick, he needs fresh air. <laughs> Not too much, the fox could get in. I'll get you some water, Sammy. <laughs> I think he needs treats, too. Forget about wearing it. Just throw it out the window. And have everyone see Washington's costume just lying on the ground? Oh, yeah. They might wonder where his bones went, huh? Sam, you're good and stuck. Do something, please. You're welcome. Now you have to tell me where this stupid secret spot is. Well, I am grateful for your help. There's huh? only one way I can consider it. Are you kidding? You want me to wear that moldy, crusty, smelly boy dog costume? If you want to see the secret spot. Fine. But that's dealing dirty. Washington. Washington. Oh. No. Washington! Where are you, you stupid beast? Huh? What the? Why are you hiding in this filthy suit, you... Oh, dog food? Wait a minute. Oh. <gasps> Washington! It's me! <sighs> Hello, me? Uh Dummy! Now get me out of this germ blanket! Whoa! It's you! Awesome! I thought it was you that was me! <gasps> Come on! Act scared! Arf, 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 arf. Oh, thank ah. goodness! We were so worried! Okay, have we got everybody now? <laughs> yes, Animal Control, it's me again, uh, Mr. Livingstone. I'm just calling to say that it seems a fox did not kidnap our dog. That's right, did not. Well, it's all yours. Congrats and stuff. Hmm, it needs work, but I'll take it. Washington's secret hideout is finally mine. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We're off to the farmer's market, kiddos. No wild parties, okay? Animals throwing a party? Too much. <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> yeah! Yes! An entire costume-free afternoon to do whatever we want. Yes, like soak in a tub. And raid the fridge. Invite our toenails. 
Huh? Oh. Or the French thing. Whatever. <laughs> you guys are gonna get so busted. No way. They'll be gone for hours. Huh? 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 Ah, they're back. Panic! Ah! Do this to me, Zipper, not you, not you! Can't leave without our favorite podcast. Podcast and it. Huh? Hey! Oh, that was odd. I thought cats always landed on their feet. Hey! Oh. Uh. Look, hon, he wants to shake. Roll over. Roll over, boy! <laughs> now play dead, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! Hooray! <laughs> that was close. Good thing you play a dog so well, Washington. No biggie. Just raw talent mixed with a total commitment to my craft. But whatever. No, really, Washington. You're like the king of domestic pets. The king of domestic pets? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the majestic domestic. Yeah. The Majestic Domestic. Oh, that's good. I like that. Majestic Domestic? He's acting like a house pet. It's not that hard. It is for me. I can't even land on my feet. You'll get it, big guy. Just keep practicing and someday... you will be as good as you. Well, I was going to say you'll improve, but many things possible. You'll take it. Oh, hail the Majestic Domestic. Remember, total commitment, Sam. Put your paws out and let it rip. Commit, commit, commit. Hmm, you're still holding back. Maybe if the platform was higher. Yeah, that's it. You're a genius. Me? A genius? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Brother. Something to say, Vic? Me? No, I mean, you are pretty high on yourself right now, but I'll hold my tongue till you slip up and take a fall. Well, I hope you're ready to wait a while because there's nothing the Majestic Domestic can't handle. We're home, kiddos, and there's someone we'd like you to meet. <laughs> Say hello to Petunia. <laughs> While we were at the market, we saw her in a tragically small cage. <laughs> Chicken! So, until we find her a better home, Petunia will be our guest. <laughs> uh, chicken! What is Washington doing? Being friendly. This book we got, How to Take Care of Chickens, says dogs and hens are natural allies. Well, if the book says so, I blindly accept it. And just look at his happy little smile. Good dog! <laughs> Washington, you can't get out now. We're meeting our new guest. Wolf? All right, all right, yes. Wow, I guess when you've got to go, you've got to go. Perfect. A free-range farm where our little chick will be happy. Great. See you soon. Bye. Good news, hon. The farmers can pick up Petunia on Saturday. <laughs> Hello, Washington. How's it going with Petunia the chicken? I thought foxes couldn't resist a nice, fat, juicy chicken. And we're just natural enemies. Huh? Gee, what if you're right? What if I can't control myself? Oh, no! In case you can't tell, I was being sarcastic. And don't forget, I'm the majestic domestic. He's right, Vic. Back in the wild, Wash was always talking about how much she loves chickens. And now look at him. He doesn't even look at Petunia. See? He's really the majestic domestic. Oh, <laughs> hey there, Petunia. Nice to eat. Ah! I get the next hug. Washington, my slippers. Bad dog. <laughs> Go, Sam. You can do it. <laughs> commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. <laughs> Mayonnaise powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's 
too hard, too oh, hard, too hard. Wait a minute. <laughs> how to take care of cats and how to take care of chickens. Let's mix it up a bit. Huh? What's that? Apparently, chickens love sunbeams. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's cats. It says so right here. Never mind then. Blindly accepted. make it unless I make the full commitment. <laughs> guys, guys, what day is this? It's the day Sam finally lands on his feet. That's what day it is. Yeah, total commitment time. Make it higher, guys, higher. No, I mean, is today Saturday? <gasps> it's the farmers! Ha <laughs> ha! I made it! It's all gonna be fine now! Hello? Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone? Us farmers are up at 5 a.m. We'll have to come back next week. Let's go. No, don't. You can't. No, no, no. Uh, Washington, something wrong? Wrong? I, 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 I'm in control. Okay, then could you not act like a crazy person for a sec? Sam's about to jump. Thanks. Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. You know, guys, I'm worried it's still not high enough. No! Get away! Get away! Stop him! <laughs> you can't fight me forever! It's hopeless! Bush, I don't understand. What's gotten into you? Foxes eat chicken, Sam! And I can't stop trying to eat Petunia! <laughs> Where is Petunia? Don't worry, she's safe. I took care of her. <laughs> I know! I'm not a domestication master! I'm a domestication monster! <laughs> I knew it! Yes! Yes! You all heard him admit it. You're my witnesses. Actually, I should have this documented and do we know any notaries? Never mind, it's just a symbolic thing, but you'll sign it, right? You have to sign it. Hey, come on, Victoria. Yeah, not nice. But guys, she's right. I'm not what I thought I was. Maybe, but you're still our friend. Thanks. <coughs> Look, the farmers haven't left yet. I told you that you can't substitute orange juice for oil. Okay, okay, let's find a gas station. Okay, it's my duty to help you, Wash. I'll find a way to restrain them until the elves wake up. Wish me luck. Good luck. For Washington. For Washington. One. I did it. I actually did it. He did it. How's it going, furry friends? Meow. Sam? Meow. What are you doing out there, buddy? You know this cat? He's really phenomenal. He just landed on my hood from out of nowhere. Oh, yes it is. And by the way, hello. You aren't the free-range farmer, are you? Yes, we are. And by the way, we're here for the chicken you have on your head. Huh? 
Guys, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me. You're welcome, I guess. As long as I don't have to hear the name Majestic Domestic ever again. Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Besides, we all know who the real hero is. The Phenomenal Feline. The Phenom... The Phenomenal Feline! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No, should we call a pet sitter? We've never left them alone overnight before. Oh, honey, they'll be okay for one night. We'll be home in the morning. A pet sitter? Last time it was Nuggin and Fluffy's cranky old lady. She watched game shows the whole time and ate all our treats. Ooh. It's time for you to be convincing, my friends. Do we really need a pet sitter? Hmm. Will you be good animals? <laughs> Fine. We'll try it. No pet sitter. We're trusting you. See you in the morning. Hey, we can use the extra money for Pancake Paradise. Mission accomplished. TV night is all ours. Yes. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you screw things up, we'll end up with a pet sitter every single time they go away. Don't worry, we'll behave. Sam, how about a nice scary movie? Great idea! Mr. L always changes the channel. He gets really scared. Scary movie? No thanks. How about a game of tag? Huh? Oh no, not tag. Probably go check on Eugenie and Susie, huh? <laughs> hmm? I'm a force of good that's going to do you bad, you nasty old ghost! <laughs> Your breath! It's horrible! <laughs> hey! Find another hiding place! But where? I don't know. Anywhere that's not around me. How about the bathroom? Go hide in the toilet. Huh? <laughs> oh, ugh, kids, they believe anything. Okay, we got one chance here. This magnet should enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form and I'll finally be able to capture him. Saw her coming here. gotten into you. It's Susie! It's Susie what? What am I doing here? <laughs> oh, that's fun! It's a pretty good hiding spot after all. Hello? <laughs> what? Oh. <sighs> Where'd they go? Huh? <laughs> Bet they got scared. <laughs> Susie. 
we'll never see her again. <gasps> what uh, the? Susie is a ghost. <laughs> Wait a second. I know what to do. We too must become ghost hunters! <laughs> Fear just changed sides, huh? <gasps> <laughs> is going to enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form, and I'll finally be able to capture him. I already heard that somewhere before. I can only use my bathroom. No one moves. Oh. <sighs> well, I'm gonna make some tea. <gasps> we must have left it on when we were leaving. Feeling better now. Oh, hi guys. Where's Susie? Honey, can you please come in? There's a problem with the sink. Oh, oh. that's weird. Oh. Looks like something's blocking the pipe. Listen, let's go back to the camp. We'll fix it when we come back. You're right, dear. Let's go. Pipes? The pipes! There are pipes! They're like like underground tunnels. That explains everything. We dropped the magnet down the toilet, right? Yes, why? Because it wasn't the ghost dragging us up to the ceiling. It was the magnet. And that, and that Susie is hiding in the pipes and waiting for someone to find her. You are one clever fox, Wash. And you're smart, too. We're gonna pump her out of there. On the count of three. One, two, and three! 
Keep jumping! It's working! There is no way I'm staying around here to be haunted the rest of my life. Is okay. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Hey, where's Susie? <laughs> <laughs> See, all is well. They did just fine on their own. We did it. We proved to them that they can trust us. Hang on. Hello? Has anyone seen Victoria? <laughs> it's a nightmare. I'm going to wake up and have breakfast. Any minute now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yeah, this is just what I needed. A little chill time in the park. <laughs> I like to chill on the couch. But then, I'm a cat. I don't really like the park. Or other animals, do we, Vic? What? <laughs> come on, boy, come on. Let's play fetch. Oh, no, not this game again. I don't get it. What's the point? I know. There's not even treats. <whistles> come on, Wash. Let's go, boy. <sighs> <laughs> as soon as we get back, I'm burying all the furry green balls where no one can find them ever again. Go get it, Wash. Go on, fetch. Watch it, Washington. That's my ball. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> the rest. <laughs> I can see you, Washington. I can see all of you. And you're all coming back to the wild with me, where you belong. <laughs> fetch, wash, fetch! <sighs> fetch, wash, fetch, fetch, fetch! <laughs> Good boy, Washington. Good boy. Arf, arf. As always, Alvarez, you are perfection. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. <laughs> Alvarez is simply the best. Oh, but my Washington can... Alvarez brings that ball back no matter what. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No matter what. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 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 
can't make Mr. L look bad in front of Mr. Snobinski and Alvarez. I just can't. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Where are you, you stupid fuzzy ball? Oh, tough stuff, Livingstone. Looks like your dog lost the ball. Not good, not good. Fetch the ball, Washington, fetch! <laughs> <laughs> really embarrassed. <laughs> I found your ball wash, and now you have to come get it from me. <laughs> Ooh, it's the pretty little house cat. She has to come too, silly little bull. <laughs> You're fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Come on, Sam! Help mm -hmm. me get that ball back! But I'm a cat! I'm supposed to relax! <sighs> okay! there and try and cheer him up. <laughs> and Vic, you. Ooh, I know what I can do. Nothing. <laughs> I thought I saw it land over in this area, but I don't see it. Well, maybe it bounced further back. After it landed and rolled up the hill, turned around that corner with the big trees, and fell down a hole where it came out by a river, and went downstream where it was discovered by little green men from outer space. Ha ha, very funny. What is? Uh, never mind. What the huh? Mitch? Come on, we gotta get that ball back. But be careful, we can't let him see us or he'll take us back into the wild. Are you trying to take my ball? Uh, well, technically, that's our ball. No! You can't have it! It's my ball! Mine! My ball! Mine! Ah! <laughs> 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 Oh, 
I'm a cat! Phew! I think we lost him. Where are you guys? That's my ball! Mine! Give it back! <laughs> Come on, Sam! Let's go cheer up Mr. L! Surprise! Uh oh! Ball! <laughs> Fudge! Got it, Holly! Go get it! Aha! Hmm. <clears throat> um, you can keep her. Yeah. We'll take the ball. What? Are you serious? Washington? <laughs> what are you saying? You heard me. I mean, she never wants to play with us, and she never really wants to help us either, so, yeah. Bye, Vic. Enjoy life in the wild. Arf, arf, arf! Washington? Washington! Wash, good boy. You always bring that ball back, no matter what. <laughs> Alvarez, get ready, boy. Oh! I got it! I got it! I got it! <laughs> no, go away! It's my ball! My ball! <laughs> You weren't really gonna leave me in the woods with Mitch, were you? Of course not. It was all part of my plan. I knew he couldn't resist the ball. I just needed a second to make it happen. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't really mean what I said. Though it's all true, but I didn't mean it. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. out on my best moves. Check it!
Bao? Nozinya? Uh, guys, what are you doing? Your humans are nowhere in sight. Oh, Washington, sometimes it's as if you live in the wild. Don't you know we're training for the Royal Kibble Dog Show? There's only posters plastered all over town. The winner gets a year's supply of Royal Kibble. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how do I enter the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Impossible. What? What's the problem? Well, it's just that you are, how can I say this? You are one weird dog. What? Like when you bark, for example. Arr, arr, <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> okay, now you're just trying to make us laugh. <laughs> it hurts. You'd better go before we laugh to death. <laughs> laugh all you want, but I'm not only going to enter the show, I'm going to win this thing. Come on, guys. I found one. I found one. A poster for the Royal Kibble Dog Show. Way to go, Sam. Okay, let's take it home and put it somewhere where Mr. Livingstone will see it. Oh, come on. Okay, Susie, we'll wait for you at home. Don't be too late. Come on, guys. Mmm, spinach nut cake. Arf, arf. <laughs> What's going on, boy? Huh? Read for me. Kibble is hosting a dog show? Interesting. Nice job, Susie. Thank you. I couldn't let the poster win. Hey, Wash. Maybe we ought to sign you up. How'd you like to be the Royal Kibble King? <laughs> Classy stuff, Wash. You're a natural show dog. <laughs> See? I mean, who can resist that hilarious bark? Let's do this. Okay, this is getting too weird. Roll over on your hind legs. Heel. Yes, and legs. Nice job. Touch your tongue to your nose. That a boy. Now catch. Wash we, I mean, you are gonna win big today. All hail the king! <laughs> now that's a good one. <sighs> Everything looks rosier after a three hour nap. Say, Wash, when you become the new royal kibble king, can I be your bodyguard? Wow, what? Wash, the royal kibble king? That's right, I'm doing the dog show. Uh, that is not a good idea. Oh, I know. You're still mad about that musical wake-up. No, no, Wash, that's not it. The judges, they... Vic, no negative vibes before showtime, okay? But... Sam? Get you, bud. Okay, okay, forget it. I won't say another word. Consider it zipped. Welcome one and all to the annual Royal Kibble Dog Show. All of our canine contestants will be judged by me, the president of Royal Kibble. But only one of them will become king. Oh, you're Ready to win, champ? Totally. Nothing can stop me now. Well, hello, Livingstone. Hi there, Doc. I figured I'd see you here. Washington here is competing. Why, hello, Washington. Can't wait to examine those teeth of yours. 
Very unusual, sharp, and pointy. See you soon. Uh, Doc, could you tell me... The vet wants to examine my teeth? But... But what do my teeth have to do with a talent show? The key! We've got to find the key so she'll tell us! It's not just a talent show. Winning is also based on physical appearance. The vet inspects teeth, fur, claws. It's the final event only for the 10 best dogs. What? Looks don't mean anything. Right. Well, I don't make the rules. You can still win, Wash. I knew it. Uh, no, Sam. If the vet examines me, I'll... We'll lose everything. It's like you can't win. Yeah, no negative vibes, remember? This box uh, dog has to perform today. Or maybe I don't. Ready, boy? Here it goes. Washington, give a paw. Well, let's start simple. Roll over. Uh, okay, we'll try again. Sit, boy. Yeah! You're the best, Wash! You can do it, Wash! He can't do it. I guess we withdraw. He's usually very obedient. I... I... Oh, no! Poor Mr. Livingstone! <laughs> Did I say I told you so? It's amazing! He's even worse than our wildest dreams! <laughs> ah, now that's my dog! Has he gone completely mad? Um, okay then. Next! No, here's a real champion for you. Mm. Well done, Wash. Now the vet is going to look you over. <laughs> <laughs> Good dog. Now open your mouth wide. Come on. I'm his bodyguard. It's up to me to save him. Just been brought to my attention that a wild boar is loose in the park. Run for your life! You, <laughs> Sam, just saved my life. But now, who's going to save Sam? Sam's been trapped. Washington is in the house! Ow. in a commercial? Talk about a dream come true. Next year's contest is just around the corner. We must get funky. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
but the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Silence. Now and then a fox needs a little solo time. Rush me ah. up! Oh, yay! Group walk. Flash, do we have a dog door or a cat flap? Uh, well, technically. And why are there bird doors? Because generally people don't like their pet birds going out. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's just Alvarez digging. I didn't know dogs dug. You didn't? You didn't either. Sure you did. Oh, fine. Well, guess who else is great at digging? You. Me! Hello, I'm a fox. We dig from diapers. So I can spend the afternoon doing something I love and impressing the elves with some very convincing canine behavior. Hmm. I thought we were going to watch the Adventure Brothers Marathon Season 1. Sorry, pal. Opportunity knocks. We'll help, Flash. Your paws and claws are too little to dig anything important. Actually, they can help. How about you two go find me a nice big bone to bury? Something that'll make a statement. Copy that. Great. Ooh. Thanks a lot. Oh, Sam, you think I want to spend the whole day working? Playing the role of a great dog takes work, you know? Fine. I'll be inside. Sitting on the couch and watching the show. Like a great cat. <gasps> Any old dog can make a hole. Way to the living stones, see this! Watch you, kid! The marathon is starting! Let's kid! Be in soon, buddy! <laughs> this is great! Finally, my own den, where I can relax and be a fox. But I gotta make it my own. My man cave. Not bad, but the iced tea needs ice cubes. Fluff, Washington's doing something weird. What's new? Washington! Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hey, Sam. What is up with you? You said you were coming in soon. Sorry, but Mr. and Mrs. L never showed up, and I ended up digging more than I expected. I dug a fox den. What? Let me see. I can't. It's my man cave uh, for thinking about life and stuff. What? All alone? Without me? Sammy, you're my best pal. I just need a private place to relax. Stay in touch with my fox side. Sure, I get it. Later, too. <sighs> I'm his everything. Finally, a safe place to hang my photos. <sighs> but it still needs a certain something. <laughs> What's he doing in that hole? Why does it just keep burying stuff and not covering it? Yeah, he's kind of interesting. Wait, you think Washington is interesting? No, what? Ugh, of course not. Uh, come on. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Should have done this months ago. Um. Meow. Meow. <laughs> meow. 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 What are 
you want. What are you doing down there? I... lost something? You're acting weird. Yeah. Just what are you up to? Washington? Digging? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh you dug a great big hole. Oh, wow. It's a tunnel. Very impressive. <laughs> but very, very bad, bad dog. We're very disappointed. Time for a timeout. I hope you think about your behavior, mister. Sam! Sam! Come on, help! Ken, I'm at a quick commercial break. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with you a long time. See you later, dummy. Yes, let's go. No! My stuff! My fox photos! <laughs> Let's go! We're stuck, dummy. We're too fat to fit. But you're below me. Shut up. Push! No! This was a dumb idea, Nugget. I know, Fluff. I forgive you. Susie, come here, girls. Did you hear that? Must be the echo. Echo who? Huh? <laughs> hey! I have to get out of here. Fluffy may be discovering the truth about us this very minute. What? They went down the hole. If they find my fox den, we're finished. I pasted up a bunch of our old pictures down there. Uh, you did? You put up pictures of us? Together? Yeah, of course. I thought you wanted to get away from me. No, jeez. I just wanted a little alone time. Can a guy get a little alone time? Best friendship reinstated. Yeah. <gasps> But we gotta dig! Lucky, lucky. It is you! Are you snooping? Shh. Of course you're not, because there's nothing to snoop! But don't touch anything! We're coming! and bring them back you know where. I need help. <laughs> Fluffy, I have something to tell you. I ate that can of tuna you were saving. Nugget, I stole that can of tuna from Victoria, but it was still mine. <laughs> Okay, guys, time for action. We need to get the girls before they get to my place. Everybody dig, now! Just need a little break. Whoa! This place. 
place doesn't seem so safe anymore. Hello, girls. <laughs> you're stuck. I mean, you're stuck. Help. No. First things first. What were you snooping around for? To get you in trouble. We fell in. Just get us out of here, please. Oh, please, watch Okay, guys, get up. No time to sleep. Fluffy, nugget. So, promise you'll never come near my man cave again. Never. Let's move out. Save the cats! That's why he was digging. Oh, Washington! We owe you a big apology, boy! Oh, thank you, Bannington. Bannington, whatever your name is. In the form of a sandwich! Here it is. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like you really don't want her in here. I don't. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. I'll go get her. We bought winter sweaters in a nick of time. <laughs> Who wants a nice hot cup of herbal tea? I do. We do it. This is Eugenie, Susie, and Sam. And of course, you know me, Washington, the guy who saved your life. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Another girl in the house. <laughs> girl power. Yeah. Here's the deal. She can stay with us until it warms up a bit. Yes! It'll be like having her very own pet. She's a pet pet. Thanks for saving her, Wash. What can I say? Sometimes saving the day just feels right, you know? This definitely feels right. Come on, Moth. We'll show you around. And last but not least, the watering oh. point. <laughs> okay, enough for today. Last one on the couch is called Prickly Pear. She's so cute. Yeah! <laughs> what are you doing? I can't help it. It's every cat's primal urge to capture that moth. So that's why you didn't want her in here. 
If only you could see the moth for the great addition she really is. Nick, maybe if you got to know the moth, you'd see she's really sweet. Trust me, that moth is the opposite of sweet. Come on, Vic. Remember, you once felt the same way about us. I still do. Huh? Susie and Eugenie, stay on Victoria. Don't let her get our new friend. Hooray, Captain. Captain! Is it just me, or is this the nicest scarf ever? <laughs> Huh? <gasps> oh, yes. There are even holes for ventilation. <laughs> On you, everything looks super. Well, that sweet remark just won you another cup oh. of Ylang Ylang. That's what moths do. They eat wool. And you know what else they do? They never leave. This isn't good. Good luck with the new bestie, Captain Idiot. Look, it's going to be okay. We can't get angry at the moth for not knowing the rules of living indoors. I mean, there was a time when we didn't know how to act inside a house either. I still don't understand why we don't all use the toilet. You see, moth, we had to learn to hide our natural instincts so we could live inside this nice house. It's true. I'm not really a cat. I'm a boar. I was born to roll in mud. But the one thing that separates cats from boar is cats don't like to roll in mud. Really? That's the one thing that separates us? That and your furball problem. Anyway, I still need to roll around in something, so now I use raisins. It pretty much feels the same. And now when I'm done, no mess. I just eat the evidence. <laughs> Either way, I win. Here's my story. Bunnies love carrots. I hate carrots. So I just pretend to like them, and then I bury them in the backyard. And no one knows a thing. I'm a bird pretending to be a bird. Well, I think we've explained to the moth how to get along in the house. Right, moth? Ah! Ah! Okay, okay, maybe we're just going about this wrong. If we can't get her to stop eating... <laughs> ole! Ole, moth! Eat up, little friend. Ah! Problem solved. <laughs> and I thought you'd eat anything. Hmm? I tried, but I choked on the yarn. Wow, for a tiny creature, she can really put it away. Mm-hmm. I'll go find more moth food as soon as I get my own breakfast. Most important meal huh? of the day. Sam, stop! Look at yourself! Ah! What if the living stone see Sam? We're gonna get kicked out of the house for sure! <laughs> Everyone stop panicking! Sam! Until I figure something out, no leaving the room. The elves can't see you, even if it means no breakfast. What? I don't know what to say, Moth. I trusted you. <gasps> Moth! No! You couldn't listen to me. Moths are extremely annoying little bugs. They're not indoor pets. They're indoor nightmares. And it's just going to get worse. <laughs> Worse than no breakfast? I'm so hungry! Sammy? Is that you, boy? Oh. Oops! You need some private time. I'll leave you to it. If I were a moth, where would I hide? Aha! Meow! <laughs> Aha! She's not here! But she was. Where to? What's this she said? May I help you pack? Idea! What if we unscrew every light in the house so the living stones won't be able to see me? I'll only come out at night when it's dark. They'll call me Night Cat. What? Bad idea? Yeah! <laughs> 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 
on here? Oh, well, that's adorable. We can't stay here. Your little help here. Look, you tried, we tried, but you're never gonna make it as an indoor pet. You just act too nuts. You think I like acting like this? Oh, you can talk? No one ever likes the moth. No one ever tries to see what's inside. Everyone only focuses on the back. Well, you do eat people's clothes and stuff. I can't help it. You have no idea what it's like not to want to be who you are. Hmm. I think we know a little something about not wanting to be who we are. I mean, I'm a fox pretending to be a dog. Lucky you. I'd do anything to be something else. I have an idea. How about I do what I do, and you do what you do? My behind is extra fuzzy. Well done, Moth. Your turn. <laughs> You're like a princess. <laughs> Not gonna lie, <laughs> she looks pretty good. So, are you ready to head out and see the world, Moth? I'm ready. Thanks, guys. You really are the best. <laughs> ah. hmm. Don't even think about it. Oh, fine, just get it over with. Yeah! I'm gonna miss her. Are you kidding me? This place was crazy when she was here. Just admit it, you like that moth. Please, I only let it kiss me so it would go away. I think I helped you get over your issues with moths. You're welcome. Whatever. Can we please go back to our normal life? And by that, I mean where the only thing driving me crazy is you. Fine. Wild ones, let us resume our mellow, quiet life. Everyone relax. <laughs> yeah. Where's the green bath mat? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's almost time for the movie. Now, where did I leave my purse? Oh, in the bedroom with the shoes. Like a puppy's ear. Or three-ply toilet paper. Wow, that looks really comfy. I need to try it. It. My nightmare. Come on, wake up, rise and shine. We have a movie to catch. Let's go, sleepyhead. No, oh wait, no, come on. Just five or 10 or maybe 30 minutes more, please. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Oh, all right. Let's go. Just hang on one second. Nice and safe, where no animal hair can touch you. Let's go. Time for a little test drive. Ugh, gotta say, this is as good as it gets. Vic, didn't you hear Mr. L? He put that blanket up there to keep us off it. He didn't mean me, silly. This is what cats do. We nap on their stuff. Mmm, really is soft. Yay! I just remembered. I'm a cat too. If she can do it, so can I. Wait, Sam. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, that was about to be the best nap of my life and you just ruined it. <laughs> now you've got to put this blanket back up there, genius. After my second nap, that is. Ooh. How was it? How was it? Uh, well, I only got to touch it with my face for a second, but it was like floating on a cloud. Pet Victoria. For one thing, you're the cleverest. And easily the cutest. Don't tell the others. <laughs> what? What? What happened? I need it. I'm a cat too. Sam, it's my turn. <laughs> That's strange. It felt so soft on my face. Oh, wait a second. I know why. I gotta take my costume off to feel it. Sam! So soft! Yeah. <laughs> You're the best, Sam! So handsome! A real charmer! Handsome fit! You're even better than a real Sam, you are smarter than all of us and the bravest, too! Don't forget the funniest! <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sam! <laughs> <laughs> Delicious! We love you so much, Sam! Because of you! We're the happiest humans in the whole world! Sam, what are you doing? You took your costume off? What's with you? What if somebody saw you? Wow, that was the best dream ever! And once and for all, stay away from that blanket! Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Here, Washington, let me help you with that blanket. Nope, sorry. Wish I could believe you. <sighs> Look, there it is! Can we try it? Stop! I'll just wait right here until the elves get back, and they'll see that I was protecting it. Going 
on. You two, make up and be friends again. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. It can't possibly be that soft. Can it? Ooh, ooh, oh yes, that is delicious. You're the best dog, Washington. I can't believe you're my best pal. I'm the luckiest big cat in the world. I admit it, you're way cooler than me. We love you, Wash! <laughs> hey, Washington, or should I say, man's best friend. <laughs> that means you get to eat anything you want. <laughs> you're a good dog, Washington. Good dog, good dog, good dog. <laughs> I had it first and you took it away from me mid-dream. And it was an awesome dream too. It's mine, I want it. I didn't get to have a real nap. Come on, give it. I know what you were trying to do. You tried to take it away from me while I was sleeping. How rude, some friends you are. What's gotten into you guys? You are a <laughs> true bad hog. That's so typical of you to take a cheap shot. That's just because you're jealous of me and my bunny hopping skills. Guys! Guys! I'm the one who tried to avoid bringing the blanket down, but you had to go and ruin it for me. And now look at the mess you caused, just like a wild boar. What? How rude! <gasps> This is crazy! You've all gone mad! Move it, fake fox! Oh no! The living stones! Okay! That's enough! Washington! Why? We'll sit on that one. Is that clear? Wash, you're the best. You saved the day. That blanket had to go. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Watch out. Whoops. Sorry, Vic. <laughs> oh, pff, kids. <laughs> what is that? Don't worry. 
honey. It's only temporary. They're just putting it up for the kids' birthday party today. Oh, yeah, right. I'd forgotten. Phew. <laughs> They've got a lot of kids coming over. to be the one being chased and able to fly away. And why did they put that thing here? Probably to keep out the pesky neighbors. You can't catch me! We'll <laughs> see about that! <laughs> Ooh! I love this stuff! built a fence. Come on, there's hundreds of other fun things you can do. Really? What, for example? Well, uh... It's so unfair. I just want to see the party. I can't see. Realistic. Eugenie! The moon! She's flying away! We've got to catch her! Yes! <sighs> it should be more quiet in the garden. <gasps> Eugenie! We've got to follow her! <laughs> We're gonna do just like Eugenie! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 
Are we supposed to be flying now? This isn't working. Susie, you follow her. We can't let her out of our sight. moment. <laughs> Since mere balloons aren't enough, we're gonna become balloons. <laughs> hey, that tickles. <laughs> three, three. Couldn't have been. Could it? I'm flying like a bird! Tweet, 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 tweet! tweet. Ah! Now we just have to learn how to steer these things! Hey, yeah? this works! Sam, just start swimming! <laughs> Brick wash, one of us. Excuse me, my fellow mammal, but you wouldn't have seen a cute little piggy, or, uh, I mean, a rabbit floating by, would you? Come on, guys, there's more flying stuff. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with him? You think he'd never seen a flying pig before? Uh -huh. <laughs> Gotta find you, Genie. Where did she go? There, look. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but have you seen a? Uh... Excuse me. <laughs> that was. But also helpful! Look! <laughs> it's Eugenie! <laughs> Uh-oh! I don't like the sound of that! to get home. Eugenie, hang on. <laughs> How do you break with these things?
the world is going on around here? And look how cute they all are, cuddling each other. Guys, please, remind me to never ever fly again, ever. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tonight, pets! Be good, no fighting! To the backyard! Last one, there's a rotten egg! Why? Are rotten eggs always late? Vic, aren't you coming? No, why would I hang with you and do something when I could hang out with me and do nothing? What should we play first? Hide and hog seek! It's like you read my mind! Or I just wanted to play the same game as you. <laughs> okay, buddy, you hide first. <laughs> You'll never find me! But Sam, we can totally see you. Shh! Ooh. <laughs> where, oh, where could Sam be? Hmm. It's like he's vanished. <laughs> You're not very good at this game. There you are. Yeah. Excellent high job, buddy. Yeah. Best friend, Pawshake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, what are they doing? Oh, that's just their super elaborate best friend, Pawshake. They've been working on it for months. It's gotten out of hand. Whenever there's something to celebrate, we have to wait while they do this. <laughs> what I believe the hairball hawker means to say is that dogs and cats should not get along, let alone have best friends' paw shakes. You don't know what I mean, dumb dog. Stop putting words in my mouth. What are those nerds up to? <sighs> I should do something about this, but... <sighs> Oh, at least we don't do our business in a tiny indoor sandbox. That's pretty high and mighty coming from someone who sniffs butts. <laughs> See? That is the proper exchange for a cat and a dog. Not that. Yeah? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd think those two weren't really a cat and dog at all, but rather uncultured wild beasts. <laughs> That's the one thing we can agree on, Fuzz Bucket. Something's not right. What? Of course we're a cat <laughs> and a dog. This isn't a paw shake, we're fighting. Uh, Sam, we need to talk. I had no idea cats and dogs aren't supposed to get along. Duh, of course they aren't. Any domesticated pet could tell you that. So, that's why you're always so unfriendly to me. No, that's just because you're annoying. Right, but if I were a cat... Nope. Don't like other cats either. I like me. What are you guys gonna do? You're best friends! But if you act like it, the neighbors might find out that we're not who we say we are. She's right. You two better go out there and show those pets that you can't stand each other. Otherwise, they'll get suspicious. Okay, Sam. It's not going to be easy, but from now on, we are mortal enemies. Why? What did I do? Sam, we're just pretending for the neighbors. Right. I'm going to have some trouble remembering that. It's hard not to look at you and not think, friends. We'll help you out. All right, so here's the plan. The first thing we need to do is remember that we absolutely... Wow, Sam and Wash just can't stand each other these days. What will they do to each other next? Yeah, their fights are getting delicious. I mean, vicious. Vicious, huh? The 
this I have to see. Okay, Sam, that's your cue. You can do this, Sam. You've seen Nick do it a hundred times. <laughs> this isn't gross. It doesn't bother me that I can taste everything that I stepped in today. Here I am. A cat doing what a cat does, hoping no dog bothers me. Arf, arf! <coughs> woof, woof! <laughs> Washington, you scared me half to death. Why would you do that? <coughs> because you're fighting. Yo, Ray! You're my enemy, cat. Yo, oh, yeah! You make me so mad! <coughs> and also hungry. Bad Busty Man! This isn't a fight. This is barely a quibble. We're losing them. You should be thanking me for the exercise, you lazy <gasps> furbag! Oh, good one. <laughs> Sam, wait! I'm sorry. I knew it! They are friends! What is going on here? That's the most pathetic cat and dog fight in history. The only part I bought was that Sam's feelings were hurt. That's because they were. Sam, I didn't mean it. We were just putting on a show. It's not real. It felt real to me. Well, that's because I'm a fantastic actor. But we got to get back out there and convince them once and for all that we can't stand each other. Sam. Most important, you have to insult him back. We cats are known for our great comebacks. Show me your best mean face, Sam. <laughs> Foaming at the mouth. Nice touch. Ew, that's just drool. I'm still hungry. That's it. I have an idea. Follow my lead. Ha ha ha! I stole your favorite blanket, and now I'm gonna ruin it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Sam, you must be so upset. Yes, I mean, no, I'm so sad I could cry. <laughs> Is he crying or imitating a seal? He's typing, we got help <laughs> Okay, Sam, don't move. Huh? <laughs> oh, why? My heart, it hurts, and my nose, it stings. That's weird. Why does his nose sting? We're losing them. I need a real reaction out of him. Quit crying, cat. Here. Have some catnip. You cats love it. You, uh, yes, we cats do love ketchup. Catnip. Yeah, catnip. Uh, I guess there's only one thing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Silly cat, that wasn't catnip. It was poison ivy. Uh? How could you? See, cats can never outsmart a dog. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm not letting those two make cats look like idiots. Hey, Sam. Psst. Mm -hmm. Tell Washington that. <laughs> you may have tricked me, but at least I don't do cheap tricks for treats. What? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Score what for cats. Hey, Sam, I may have to do tricks for treats, but at least I don't have to share my treats with fleas. Yeah. I'd rather have fleas than worms. What? I do not have worms. Dogs are worms. Yeah, I mean, dogs are worms. <laughs> what? That's right. Hit him where it hurts. The only worm I know is you, and you're a furry worm at that. Glad I could help. 
distract them for a while, we can finally give up this stupid act. But I'm just getting the hang of it. <laughs> Not that I like it. You're my best friend no matter what. And you're mine. I only have feelings of awesomeness toward you. What is all this commotion? <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those cats and dogs fight. They're like wild animals. Thank goodness you guys aren't like that. You're civilized. See? I say that as long as the elves are convinced, we're free to be besties. Yay! Best friend pushing? No, it'll take too long. Couldn't you guys celebrate a little shorter? I'll settle for a hug. Come on, buddy, let's go inside. Last one there's a monkey's uncle. What's so bad about that? I'd love to have a nephew with an endless supply of bananas. Must I do everything myself? Rawr! 